Right guys, I needed a cheap minibus that I can park up and wait for uh, any minibus work while I've got the Tesla doing the normal day-to-day -day stuff and also the, the car jobs. And this is the, probably the best option for the best budget MPV car you can get, in my opinion, after doing a lot of research. So this is the Hyundai i800 2.5 diesel automatic. So it's uh, obviously black, 17, 2017. It is... Um, yeah, it's absolute beast of a car. And this is this was 90,000 on the clock and it was only 12 and a half grand compared to some other minibuses out there. Uh, like the Ford Tornios, the Vitos and all them. Um, this is very cheap in comparison. So that's the exterior. So for what it is, it's a nice it's a nice bus, isn't it? <laughs> so I mean it's nothing special, but it'll do the job. But yeah, I'm mean, in my opinion, I reckon, after doing a lot of research, this is the best budget MPV you can get. Oh, beauty, look at that. CRDI. So this is a, it's a boost of an engine. Yeah, it's not very efficient. If I remember correctly, doing the research, uh, these aren't very efficient at all. But this is purely just for me motorway, up and down the motorway. You won't be doing much around town working it at all. And also I'm going to be using it for the family as well. So it's a win-win. Obviously no front boot like the on the EVs. <laughs> yeah, so it's nice and basic. There's no like electronic opening and closing boot. It's just obviously big opening now. Now, over the luggage space, this is probably not the best luggage space in the mini buses like the Ford Tonio long wheelbase, the Vito long wheelbases but it looks like it's plenty what I'm going to do is because it's going to be I want to find out myself I'm going to do a proper video on the boot space of it but by the look at the depth of it and that height I reckon I'll be able to get a good few suitcases in here but obviously I'll do another video on that soon but look obviously it's second hand you can tell look a little rip there do you know what I mean but yeah and this is it on the interior Plenty of legroom, loads of legroom, love it. Automatic. Now, obviously, the drive. <laughs> the drive's obviously no comparison to like a flipping, um, like an electric car or anything like that. It is a bit boaty. Uh, 0 to 60, obviously, the test is 4 seconds, this is 14 seconds, so there is a big difference in power and everything else. And also, what's a bit strange swapping from car to, to car is the indicator stalks on the wrong side and everything else. But I'm getting used to it. But yeah, it's actually got heated seats, which is a big feature. There's one thing that a big negative about it, but it has to be tablet. That's that's not standard. <laughs> is it's got a um, cruise control, which I thought was a bit weird, being in a big bus. I would have thought they would have been standard. Um, but the storage at the top there got two glove boxes. You've got obviously the door, two door bins, two door cards, which is good. Obviously to release the. That's gonna be weird going to a petrol station. Then you got. Little charger there, there. Two cup holders, and underneath there's another charger. So there's plenty of storage in it, all down below. So I've got the charger. Obviously, this is just my gym bag. So the big space there. Probably be my cool box when I go away with the fan bow. But yeah, it's pretty basic. Do you know what I mean? Got one of those. What is it? CD player. Look at the CD player there. FM radio. But I've got the uh, tablet and Spotify hooked in. So that's no biggie there. But yeah, absolutely made up with it, guys. To be honest. And it's gonna be it's gonna be exactly what I need it for. Now, if I was using this full time on the taxis, doing the airports and stuff like that, I think the expenses with the diesel and the high running costs, that's when it starts becoming a bit of a thingy. But where the, where the reason I've got this minibus is because I wanted the minibus where I can park it up as a second vehicle and it won't cost me a fortune to be parked up and left alone. But then when a minibus job comes in, I'll hop out the Tesla, jump in this, go to the minibus job, go back home. Do you know what I mean? This is the type of thing. And also as well, if we're going away, we're going like camping or whatever, this would be perfect for the family because my kids are getting lanky. I'm going to show you the back. Oh, one of the big negatives being in the front. Where's the armrest? Like, like seriously, it's a... It's an MPV. And there's no flipping armrest. Never, un never understood that, guys. I really don't. Oh, yeah. Sunglasses, and then obviously all your lights, and everything else. Big mirrors. What the hell's like a flipping garden shed, there? <laughs> flipping 
brilliant. It's class, isn't it? Now, let me get in the back and I'll show you. Now, you're probably expecting this to have automatic doors. Ah, and yeah, yeah, no, I'm only joking. It's not. It's like open a tranny van. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Mint for the stage. Now, don't forget, guys, depending if you want to get licensed, certain councils will not allow this as a seven seater or you know, only eight, 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 seven passengers because you have to physically move a passenger out the way to get in. So you can't have conference seating. You can't have the seats facing that way in this car. And that's going to be a big problem for certain councils and certain people. But for Liverpool, it is fine to have seven passengers. But yeah, so it's got quite a bit of flexibility with this. So here you can slide it right up. Slide in that way, you can obviously lift this forward. But you can adjust and also you can get the middle row reclining back if you want a little lie down but let me just show you that jesus i flip an ice cream truck right a little bit of a rip there but plenty of room in the back of the middle row yeah contemplating seat covers but i don't know one big feature, by the way, guys, which a lot of places, well, a lot of buses don't have, like the Vitos and everything else, is rear aircon and rear heating. It's a huge win for minibuses. Please, guys, if you're going to get a minibus or like an MPV, have a look for rear, because in the summer, it gets hot back there and you get customers complaining. I know a few Vito lads that, like, one of their biggest mistakes is not getting rear ventilation. So I can get the aircon on and everything to keep them all warm and cooled or whatever. Little window there, look. Sell me ice creams out of. Anyone want a Cornetto? <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. Belter. Yeah, so I made up that, like. Now let's get back in the uh, back seats for a sec. Oh, I'm still in the middle row. Storage. Plenty of storage, cup holders. All just places to leave your crap where the kids are going to leave the crap. Yeah, there's only one thing in this middle row. There is no charging ports, and I don't know why. Yeah, no charging ports, but I'll get extra long runs to run through. Now, let's get in the back back. Now, this is right in the back. Now, obviously, being six foot five, probably the tightest place to be in. But that is obviously well back on the rails. You could adjust that if you've got massive passengers to give these a bit of extra leg room. But for now, they're quite far back on the rails. See, that's how we got in. Cup holder. Yeah. Cup holder again. Same again. Bit of storage. No charges. Which is a bit nuts. You need that for my driving. Rear, rear ventilation again in the back here. So, yeah, absolutely spot on, guys. Like I said... You can fully adjust this, you can recline this, adjust it for all your customers, which I think is a massive win. But a lot of MPVs are obviously fixed seatings. But obviously it is, it probably needs a good little valet in it. Gonna get proper valeted. Might get seat covers, I don't know, yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely sound place to be. It's gonna be a job, and it? it's gonna be literally taking people from A to B. And I can take seven passengers. How are we? So what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, is it the best minibus out there? No. Is it missing a few features or a bit of, a bit of tech? Yeah. Hasn't got a reversing camera. It's got sensors. Um, it's got heated seats just for the driver. Um, it has got obviously climate control, plenty of charges, no um, cruise control. And yeah, it's pretty basic. But do you know what it does? It carries seven passengers from A to B. And, if, and my, my whole plan of getting this car and why I like it as a, as a, especially as a second one, is purely because it can sit on my drive for a small amount, just finance and insurance packed up. And then um, when I need it, it's there. I think if I'm going to go full time minibus, no second car, I think the running costs on these are quite heavy with the diesel. I think there's better mile per gallon running costs. But. They're so cheap, and I've heard they're really reliable. One of the lads I know, uh, he had one of these, and he'd done 180,000 miles, and didn't have a problem, didn't have one issue. So they are good, do you know what I mean? They are good, solid, solid minibuses, um, and it's perfectly suited for what I need. 
But is it the best? No. Do you know what I mean? But it is up there with a very practical and quite reliable minibus, to be honest. And it's perfect for what I needed it for. But if you're after uh, quite a budget minibus, for, especially for the taxis, airports, and even just for the family, then I definitely recommend this one. Purely just for its price and its practicability. But we'll find that out on the next video because I'm going to have to go and film the suitcases because I haven't got a clue how many suitcases I can get in that boot. And before I know, I need to know that before I can start taking on work. So we find out how many suitcases I can take in that boot. So that video will be coming soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel as per usual. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little review of the Hyundai i800 Automatic. And yeah. I've got to say, it's a big win. I'm very happy uh, to have it in my arsenal. And uh, yeah, roll on 2024, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as per usual. And um, see you soon.